Hey guys, and welcome back to the ASX Investor Channel and welcome to another CEO interview. Today, we're gonna to be talking about all things technology, really diving into the deep technology space. We'll be exploring the Archer Materials story once again. They're a company playing on the forefront of advanced semiconductors. And of course, they're playing in the quantum computing field as well as their A1 biochip space. It's a really fascinating and compelling offering with a great growth runway ahead of them. We're welcoming back to the channel, the ASX AXE CEO, Mohammed Shakir. Mohammed, welcome back once again, mate. Hey, thanks for having me. It has been a phenomenally busy past period. The last time we chatted, you said there was a lot to look forward to and it definitely hasn't disappointed. We'd love to just have a bit of an update. How are you feeling and how's this past period been for Arch Materials? Yeah, it's, it's been absolutely wonderful. I mean, we've, we've had so much completed in the last few months. I can't remember when we last talked, but I think it was probably a few months ago. Um, and, and so much has happened in terms of uh, technology development and also our IP prosecution. Uh, moving forward with you know uh, collaboration partners, yeah, it's been it's been absolutely wonderful. Before we dive into all of the specific announcements and the news flow, if you can just give us that refresher of who is Archer Materials and what's that problem you're trying to solve? Yeah, look, we're a deep we're a deep tech uh, company, and and we we develop advanced semiconductor devices. You know that buzz kind of next generation semiconductor devices that uh, are relevant to industries like quantum computing. And our our flagship project is our 12CQ uh, chip, our quantum computing qubit processor chip. And we're, you know, the reality is we're just one of very few companies in the world that are building uh, qubit processors and, and uh, operate in the hardware space in quantum computing. It's a pretty fascinating past period. I guess we can start with the flagship 12CQ chip. How's development gone? And of course, there's been a range of different developments on the patent side as well. You've now secured three patents with key Asian regions as well as the US side too. Yeah, look, I mean, I just want to emphasize without the technology, you really, you know, you're really left with a void. So uh, a lot of our emphasis in our critical path is the technology. And so uh, it was great to see that early uh, validation of, of qubit control, on chip qubit control that we, we had. Uh, I think that was a few months ago. And uh, that's, that's some incredible work by the team. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't under, under, understate uh, how important that work is that they're doing and, and you know the fact that we're doing that right here in Australia is, is absolutely fantastic. And yeah, you're right, we, we, we've uh, had our patents granted in, in those uh, Asian powerhouse economies, China, South Korea and Japan, that was absolutely wonderful. Uh, you know, and, and then to have the US patent come through as well, uh, yeah, look, truly it, it was a good time at Archer and, and, and many of us in the team, and all of us in the team, uh, did take a little moment, uh, maybe five minutes <laughs> to, to celebrate before we put, uh, put our foot back on the accelerator and, and just go back to work. I'm glad you're able to at least smell the roses for five minutes, but congratulations to you and the team for all that you achieved. <laughs> yeah, look, it really is a team effort. It's, it's no one, one individual in the team. We've we got some wonderful people. And, and I know that, you know, we're growing, we're growing as a team. We have, uh, you know, about you know, less than 15 people at Archer, but we're supported by, uh, wonderful, wonderful staff members in, in organizations that we work with that have uh, an abundance of human resources, uh, very, very smart people uh, that we work with, and indeed, uh, some of the best in the business who work at Archer. So, you know, we're, we're used to getting things done, and when we get things done, we move on to the next thing that we need to get done, and this is exactly what we're doing now. And then on the other side of the coin as well, that A1 biochip, the lab on a chip, it really has the ability to really progress medical diagnostics. We'd love just a bit of an update on how you're progressing on that front too. Yeah, look, I mean, the, the, the biochip development is, is early stage. Let's just be clear here. I mean, we are in the early stage of development of the life cycle in the semiconductor industry. Um, for those who don't know much about the semiconductor industry, just, just have a look at the product life cycles, how long it takes to develop certain products uh, and, and just kind of you know, really help shape your idea of, of what it means to be at certain stages of development. We were very fortunate to, to have access to, you know, a, a prototyping and semiconductor foundry here in Sydney, $150 million purpose-built foundry uh, to do our, our, you know, research and prototyping. Uh, we're at an early stage of the biochip development, uh, but it's, yeah, the potential there is fantastic. But I think the important thing to note there is that we're, we're not taking resources away from our 12CQ chip to build the, the, the biochip, uh, we're adding resources. So what you've seen is that we're, we're expanding our access to, to deep tech infrastructure, you know, institutional scale infrastructure, uh, you know, very large 
uh, kind of semiconductor floors where where you where you operate in and you you use very sophisticated equipment and instrumentation uh, you know on a day-to-day -day basis in, in order to to design and build um, you know such a sophisticated platform like a biochip I mean this is next gen in in the biotechnology uh, sector so very exciting to be working on this and and our team is is full of a very bright professionals, a multidisciplinary team, and, and this is one of the things that you need in order to build a, a technology like a biochip. And of course, it's actually interesting. Archer Materials had its origins as a junior explorer, but of course, it's now transitioning into the deep tech space. As a result of that, there's some re remaining tenements which are being spun out with the iTech IPO. Love just to hear your thoughts on how that's playing out currently at this moment and what it means for the story ahead. Yeah, look, and, and you'll know we're, we're, as they say, we're a, th a three year overnight success, right? So it's, it hasn't, it, it wasn't done overnight. We're, we're not a leopard changing spots. I mean, this has taken years. And, um, you know, I really want to thank our shareholders for their support and their confidence and trust uh, over the last few years. Uh, and, and, we've, and, and that growth that we've seen in our company, I believe, is, has, you know, it hasn't come from, like I said, a, a single result that's common to other industries or that maybe, subject to other industries it, it's come I, I believe off of the, the pardon me the, the, the quality of, of work that we're doing at Archer the quality of people we have at Archer and and also the quality of the organizations we work with at Archer and over the years we've been uh, spinning out a mineral exploration tenements to focus on our technology and to to focus on being a technology company and uh, the, the sale of the mineral uh, tenements the remaining mineral tenements to iTech uh, should complete uh, today uh, and so uh, really looking forward to 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 moving forward uh, as a as a deep tech company yeah congratulations on that it's of course a major milestone and you recently did raise capital too a lot of this focus is now moving towards development of the 12cq chip can you talk about the capital raise what it enables and where the funds are going to be going for that i can uh, <laughs> uh, so so look, a lot of that information is in the public domain, right? So people can just go to the ASX website, just load up the ASX announcement. You can see exactly what the money is going to be used for, how much we raised that, what the price was. We have an SPP open, open at the same price as we did with the institutional uh, placement. But I think if you ask me, if you ask me, Mohammed, what does this mean? It means that we have domestic and global institutional and sophisticated investors that are willing to get behind, uh, you know, um, quantum computing, we're willing to get behind a, a, a growing technology company here in Australia uh, that's listed on the ASX and the only company on the ASX that gives investors exposure to quantum computing. And I think this goes into really in a broader picture of things, um, you know, in strengthening quantum computing in Australia and, and you know, really glad to have uh, you know, that support uh, at this early stage of our development and being able to now, uh, you know, think ahead and, and also execute on our, on our forward-looking strategy uh, for growth, to grow our team, to, to build our technologies, uh, to, to, you know, work with development partners both here and abroad uh, and to protect our intellectual property. So, um, yeah, it's absolutely exciting and it's wonderful. And, and, and like I said, we're not an overnight success, right? So we, we do look forward to our, uh, to our growth over the years ahead. And when you're speaking about quantum computing, it's not only just quantum computing, it's quite actually a unique proposition to enable quantum computing onboard modern devices in all conditions at room temperature. For those viewers who might not be familiar, can you just help to conceptualize what that could mean and also the types of areas that will need that uplift in computational power? Yeah, look, you're absolutely right. Look, quantum computing is very early right now in the world, okay? I mean, it's, it's taking up, you know, you're seeing more and more headlines, but just put things into context, okay? I mean, it is still an early field, um, some of the first quantum computers went live, uh, you know, only five years ago. Uh, and, and if you asked me 10 years ago about quantum computing, yeah, you could just say it's pie in the sky. But, you know, considering the roadmaps of, 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 of companies like IBM and others, uh, it's absolutely exciting to, to, to really think about where the, the, the technology and where the industry could be in the next few years. And the important thing to note is that, you know, Archer is, is not playing catch up, right? We, we do have a unique technology that holds up as a world first. Uh, we do have a unique global value proposition. Uh, we are early in our development, but we are, you know, our value proposition really entails um, a prospect of having quantum computing powered devices, mobile devices like your laptops and your phones. 
yes, we're working to get there. Yes, we're developing to get there. Yes, there are challenges on the way, but we are where we need to be along our roadmap. And, and it's absolutely exciting to consider, you know, um, you know, just the field in general. You asked me, you know, where, where, what, what can this do? I don't like leaning too far out the window. I mean, if you read, if you read some of my commentaries, uh, and I do write them, okay? <laughs> so I do write them. So, uh, you know, for example, the Boston Consulting Group has been following the business of quantum and quant you know, quantum technology for years now. And, and they've really started to identify, um, you know, four key areas around uh, machine learning, cryptography, uh, AI, cryptography, autonomous vehicles, uh, and in finance, where, where you can really start to unpack hundreds of business use cases. I mean, Arch are part of the IBM quantum network. We know this, we see this. I mean, we see the hundreds of publications that come out, um, you know, the, the hundreds of thousands of people that use Qiskit um, to, to start designing different kinds of quantum logic circuits, the trillions of quantum circuits that are being run, I think, almost every day now. Um, you know, the, the four key areas around, you know, finance and, and, and AI and um, cryptography, um, autonomy, these are the, those deep tech areas that you're, you're going to see more and more in the years to come, I believe, um, as these uh, technologies start to mature. And, and indeed, it's, yeah, it's absolutely exciting to think about where, um, where we can position ourselves um, with our product that we're developing uh, for mobile end users. And so we can see where the future is heading. We can see the pathway there. Obviously, it's not going to be a linear A to B, but maybe for those investors who are watching the ASX AXE journey, can you talk about some of those key milestones and some of those key catalysts to look out for moving forward? Yeah, I can. I just also want to note as well that, you know, this is not a fast follower field, right? Um, you, you, you got to start, you got to build, you have to develop, you, you need to do, this is built off years and years of R&D, right? Um, you know, it's built off innovation, it's built off invention, it's built off a high degree of, of uh, you know, intellectual excellence that takes time. We work in very sophisticated environments with very um, large scale infrastructure that needs to be built and developed um, with, with some very robust uh, supply chains around the world um, and, and challenges too. I mean, examples like, it, yeah, it's, it's a global industry. Um, but that means there's global talent, which means talent is global, right? So you've got to find them. <laughs> you've got to get them on. Um, and, and so one of our key milestones moving forward, you know, you may not see it in ASX announcements and things like this, but it's growing the team, right? And, and getting those people on board because the people are the ones who that human capital, it's not just the technology. We talk about technology a lot. You know, the human capital is just as important. You know, they come up with the IP. They come up with the solutions. They're the ones working together. They're the ones you know, signing the deals and, 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 and working together and accessing the facilities and, and building the technology. So, you know, our, our, our approach has been that three-prong approach where um, what to look out for in our commercialization pathway is our technology development, our, our um, you know, commercial partnerships, and, and obviously, uh, you know, our, our intellectual property and, and protecting and prosecuting our intellectual property around the world. And you've mentioned it a few times, of course, it takes a long time to become an overnight success. As you've mentioned, there's been some shareholders who have followed the ASX AXE journey for a long period of time, or for those who potentially may be now looking at Archer Materials, did you have any final reflections that you wanted to share with them? I want to thank our shareholders for their support and, and their confidence. And uh, I've had the, the privilege of getting to know many of our shareholders over the years. And, and it's it's absolutely, you know, it, it's, it's really nice to, to, to hear back from shareholders. And I'm really looking forward to once restrictions start to, to continue to ease uh, and, and travel resumes that we have uh, in-person events and, and we have that opportunity to, to, to have a chat in person and, and for, for our investors and our, our shareholders to you know, really speak with the management team and, and have a look at the wonderful work that we're doing that I think is generating so much excitement. That is the Archer Material story. It's ASX AXE. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share it out. We make daily videos to so make sure you've subscribed and turn your bell notifications on. Dr. Mohammed Shakir, it's an absolute pleasure as always to catch up and we're looking forward to seeing where Archer Materials heads from here. Thanks for having me. Great channel.